In this really quick tutorial, you will learn how to make this amazing looking shiny text effect in After Effects. And as you can see, it has like some nice 3D texture going on. It has this shiny animation to it and just looks really good. And this one is super simple, so I'd say let's just go right into it. So I just made a new composition with a nice background. And first of all, of course, we need a text. So just right click in here, go to new and just add a text layer. And I'll just type in metal again for this example. And yeah, then we can select this text and press S on the keyboard to scale this up. And just bring it a bit up, just like this. And yeah, now we can also align it to the center. And we can do this by using the Align tab on the right here. And just press Align horizontally and Align vertically. And if you can't see this tab, it's super simple. Just go to Window and make sure this one is checked in here. And yeah, now let's give it some nice yeah, metal look first of all before we add the shining animation. And this one is super simple, we just need two layer styles. And the first one is a gradient, so let's just right click on our text layer and add the gradient overlay, just like this. And yeah, as you can see this looks not good, so let's change a few settings in here. And yeah, just open this up, let's just make it a bit bigger here. And yeah. Go to gradient overlay, go to colors and press add a gradient. And now we just want to make some yeah, white and gray variations in here. So let's just add a, a few more points by just clicking in here, just like this. And yeah, let's leave the first one completely white, then go to the second point, give it some light gray, the next one is white again, and the next one uh, light gray again, and the last one should be white again. And if we press OK, we can already see, yeah, this looks really good. It's just a little bit more shiny. And yeah, now let's also give it like these 3D look on the edges, which is also super simple. Just go to the text layer again, right click, and let's add another layer style. And this time we will use the bevel and emboss effect, just like this. And as you can see, there are small changes, but it doesn't look like this. So we have to yeah, adjust a few things. So let's also open this up and yeah, first of all, let's change the technique from smooth to chisel hard, just like this. And as you can see, this already looks good, but maybe let's turn up the size a bit, not too much, but just like this. And yeah, basically you are quite free here, how you use the settings. So if you don't want it to be that strong, you can turn on the shadow opacity just like this, maybe 50% looks good and maybe even increase the size, but yeah, uh, not like this, yeah, this is good, but this is completely up to you, you can just play around a bit, but this is the basis, and yeah, that's already it with the yeah normal metal look, I think this is quite good. But as you can see, it doesn't move, it doesn't, yeah, it, it's not animated at all. And in our example, we had these, yeah, glowing, shiny effect going on. And let's replicate this real quick. This one is also super simple. Let's just make a new solid layer. So just right click in here and make a new solid, press OK. And now we have to add one really important effect. So let's just head to effects and presets and type in thread girl and apply the freckle noise effect just like this and yeah let's change a few settings in here let's increase the contrast to something like 800 let's also increase the brightness to something like 50 and reduce the complexity to something like 2 yeah this is good and we can also go to the um, transform settings in here just open these up and let's also increase the scale by quite a bit and yeah, now let's animate this. So just put in a keyframe uh, in the evolution setting here at the beginning of our animation, just like this. And then we can go just to the end and just bring this value up really high to, I don't know, now we used 10 seconds. So let's just bring it to 10, just as it is here. And yeah, now this is like animated and this is good. Okay, maybe this is a bit fast, but let's just leave it like that. <laughs> and yeah, now we can go to our yeah, the solid effect settings on this uh, tab here. And first of all, let's go to Track Matter and um, use our metal text as the 
yeah the masking thing so now you can see this is just on top of the on the text layer and yeah this is good but <laughs> it completely blocks our or we can't see our text anymore this is not good so let's just reactivate our yeah text layer which will be just hidden by default if we use this mask setting here so let's bring it back and also go to the mode of our yeah solid with the texture and change it to screen and now it's just on top of our text basically and yeah we can see now we have this nice shiny animation going on this may be a bit strong so let's just decrease the opacity of this layer a bit by pressing t on the keyboard and open up the opacity setting and let's just give it 80 percent and this should work quite well and or maybe even less let's put in 70 in here and yeah this is quite good i think this is almost done basically or yeah it's all yeah it's basically done but maybe we just want to make some more yeah color adjustments so let's just make a, a new adjustment layer and let's maybe add some glow as well so it will be a bit more shiny so yeah by default it looks always stupid so let's increase the glow radius by a bit and turn down the intensity to something like 0 0.2 and yeah this is quite good and yeah maybe we can also add some brightness and contrast for the whole composition just play around with these settings but i think yeah this is already quite good so yeah this is completely up to you but i think yeah this is too strong let's just uh, delete this but yeah that's it basically i think the result is quite nice and you can always play around with a lot of these settings so yeah be creative and thanks for watching